Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video, looking at the ECMDF 30 day model for today's first video at the Hungarian Met Office for this, and we're going to look at temperature and precipitation anomalies for the UK and the rest of Europe too for the next four weeks, so that's going to take us into the second half of uh, that may of course so uh coming up later on today we'll have the regular week 10 day update and that'll have all of the usual features and um, that'll be with you later on this afternoon uh so starting us off is our week one temperature anomaly it's week 17 uh for the year it takes us from the 20 uh 20th to 26th of april and uh, it's a warm average week coming up across many northern western parts of europe so we've got much of southern scandinavia here uh with above average temperature anomalies most parts of ireland uk france low countries germany uh coming out with above average temperature Anomalies as well. Warmest um, weather is across France and into uh, western parts of Germany, where we're up to three to six degrees above average. It's not a warm sea across the whole of Europe, though, because across these more eastern northeast areas it is a good deal cooler there so really from western russia onto the uh european russian border and then down into the black sea and then through to greece and turkey colder than average temperature anomalies uh, through here or cooler than average temperature anomalies anyway and southern parts of spain and portugal also coming out with the slightly below average temperature anomalies although the central basin of the mediterranean central bowl uh, actually looks rather warmer than average so relatively warm in the northwest, uh, cooler though in the east and the southeast. Precipitation wise, we see a lot of dry weather coming up this week uh, from the 20th to the 26th of April. Uh, so very substantially dry on average in the northwest around uh, UK and Ireland and uh, northern parts of France, um, Norway. Very substantially dry on average here. High pressure well and truly in the ascendancy. Most parts of Europe are actually dry on average uh, to be on. Even where it's cooler over on this eastern side, it's still largely dry, uh, or slightly dry on average, through most of those regions. Pretty dry uh, through the Balkans, and then go down into the southeastern part of the uh, Mediterranean. But the rest of the Med actually looks quite uh, wet. So uh, through this central area, it is significantly wetter than average, particularly from uh, eastern parts of Spain over to Italy. It does include a lot of the Holiday Islands as well, very substantially wetter than average through uh, much of the central bowl of the Med. Um, inland parts of Spain and Portugal, not as wet there, generally dry in the north of Spain and Portugal, a little bit wetter down in the south, perhaps rather unusually. Moving through to uh, week two, which is week 18 uh, for this year. It takes us from the 27th of April to the 3rd of May. We still see above average temperature anomalies in the far western uh, part of Europe. So again, for the UK, for Ireland, for much of France, it's a warmer than average here with temperature anomalies of around 1 to 3 degrees above average. The northeastern uh, part of Europe is cooler than average there, around uh, 1 to 3 degrees below average across that uh, Baltic area and moving into the west of Russia, the northwest of Russia. Otherwise, most other parts of Europe are actually coming out um, with uh, with average temperatures or no signal. Uh, I think it probably is more towards average temperatures, really, at this point. Uh, so, yes, it looks like temperatures are lowering a little bit across some western areas and maybe recovering slightly some of these eastern areas uh, through this week. Going down into the Mediterranean, again, largely close to average in Spain, and Portugal, a little bit on the warm and average side through the Mediterranean Sea, and then a bit below average from southern Italy down in towards Greece and Turkey. Precipitation wise, uh, we look like that for week two from the 27th of April to the 3rd of May. But in Northern Europe, still coming out dry but average, albeit uh, rather weakly so. Uh, so we've got much of Scandinavia here on the slightly dry but average side, Ireland and the UK. Just seems to be a bit uh, dry and average through those areas. The central part of Europe uh, and Western Europe again, slightly dry and average through those regions. Going down into Southern Europe, so south of the Alps, we generally see a slightly above average precipitation anomalies. It's not as wet, nowhere near as wet through the central part of the Med in week two as it is in week one. Nevertheless, it is still slightly uh, wetter than average through this week, with slightly above average rainfall. Overall, much of the Med does not rather showery at the very least through this week with high pressure dominating across much of northern Europe. 
Week 3 takes us from the 4th to the 10th of May, and again, it's widely above average across many parts of uh, Europe. So this is a warm first half of May coming up if the ECM is uh, is right. Most parts of Europe are coming out around 1 to 3 degrees above average on the temperature scale. Uh, so again, we've got uh, parts of England and Wales, 1 to 3 degrees above average. Most parts of Western Europe, 1 to 3 degrees above average. Southern Scandinavia, 1 to 3 degrees uh, above average. And so it goes on into the east of Europe as well. Down to Mediterranean, temperatures there are nearer to average, closer to normal. Uh, we've got a particularly big deviation either way. A little bit cooler through eastern parts of Spain and over towards Greece and Turkey. The central bowl of the bed, however, is a slightly above average precipitation wise signals are weakening now as they often do in week three but uh, it looks rather dry but average in this northwestern part of uh, of europe still so ireland uk scandinavia the signal is is weakly drier than average down across the uh, mediterranean it's slightly wetter than average as a weak signal things will still be slightly wetter than normal otherwise we've got lots of white going on at this point which is no signal uh, for precipitation through most parts of the uh, through most parts of Europe. It looks like high pressure should be dominating much of northern Europe, I have to say, over the next uh, couple of weeks at least. And then finally we get through to week four, which is going to take us from, it's week 20th of the year, week four for our forecast period, it's going to take us from the 11th to the 17th of May. Uh, at this point we find that, uh, so it's generally rever reverting to average or no signal. Maybe going a bit cooler up across northern parts of Scandinavia. Uh, still looks a little bit warmer than average for the UK, for Ireland and around these Baltic Sea areas just here. Eastern parts of Europe, around the Black Sea, and going down in towards the southeastern Med, around Greece and Turkey, hint at being slightly warmer than average, and eastern parts of Spain, hint at being slightly cooler than average. That said, most places are in most white colours uh, for this week for temperature anomaly, which is average or no signal. I suspect by this point the model is losing the signal as we go in further out. Precipitation wise, uh, so for the 17th of May, again, we hint at being drier uh, in this northwestern part of Europe, so close to the UK and Ireland, there could be some higher pressure through here, perhaps a little bit wetter than average through northern parts of Scandinavia, otherwise it's a case of no signal in most parts of uh, Europe in week four. So, uh, quite an interesting uh, couple of weeks coming up. It looks generally warmer than average through most uh, through most parts of Europe, particularly northern uh, Europe, for a couple of uh, quite warm weeks. Uh, down in Mediterranean, a uh, bit more variable there with temperatures, and a little bit more unsettled, I think, down in the Mediterranean as well. Northern Europe looks largely dry, particularly northwestern Europe, but down into the Med, does look a little bit more unsettled there. As we go through to May, probably staying quite warm early on across northern Europe before maybe reverting is something near and normal but I think by the time you get through to the middle of May the model really is losing the signal Remember, it's just a snapshot of what this model is showing uh, this week it could look very different next week any forecast beyond five seven days uh, comes with big health warnings we're going to be back later on with your week to 10 day video update so come back for that then that's all for now though and thanks for watching